All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for B Stars Season One, one Episode two. two. All oh right, boy. So we got ourselves a magnificent first episode. Set up a yeah. bunch of characters. A lot. Set up a mm -hmm. primary conflict between the different uh, you know types of characters in yep. that mm -hmm. we have uh, a very definite uh, separation between. Uh, herbivores and carnivores but unfortunately and, uh, the separation between predators and prey is not yes. so distinct yes. uh, wonderful it is uh it is quite quite an issue there mm -hmm. um yep. we have ourselves uh, uh a couple uh pronunciation uh things there Lagoshi, Lagoshi? is the uh, pronunciation okay. for for the wolf all right um and it's louis for louis. uh for gotcha. the deer so okay. more more of the French uh, pronunciation there. But okay. um, yeah, those uh, are two of our main characters. We also have uh, a Tem, a, a goat that mm -hmm. was uh, devoured slash murdered. Yep. Um, we also have Haru, uh, Haru mm -hmm. uh, or, or Haru, yeah. But she has a very, a very complicated situation that she's in, yep. getting bullied. Um, we also have uh, Zoe, who was basically given the part that Tem did have yeah. before he died. Mm -hmm. And then we have Else, who is the uh, the, the character mm -hmm. that Tem had a crush on, but Lagoshi was only just recently able to pass along yep. the love, love letter. note uh -huh. that Tem was never able to pass on because he was too nervous. Right. But at the end of the episode, Lagoshi mm -hmm. leapt onto Haru and the predator-prey relationship was almost um enacted enacted but fully then it wasn't yeah and, and we now, were left basically with the cliffhanger of what happens there they're in this very mm -hmm. very awkward situation yep. here and yep yeah yeah there's that so <sighs> y'all without further ado let's get into this oh oh Whoa. Is this like his mindscape or is this literal? Like, roommate? <laughs> so that was his dream space, probably. Mm -hmm. I love the dog with the. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. He made oh, a part that's himself well done. That he didn't want to. Oh. Wait, that's right. We didn't get the OP. Did we not get the OP? I don't think so. Or was it at the end, though? I don't know. Whoa. Uh, 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 mm, mm. No, yeah, we heard this before. It was just at we the didn't... end. It was in the credits. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Buffalo style. Jeez. I love this. Oh, yes, yes. It's making me think of the Death Parade OP. Oh, yes. Uh. I really like that they oh. had that that wasn't in the uh, traditional animation that they have for the show. Mm -hmm. That way, the first time we see Lagoshi really happy, it'll be a new experience, you know. Mm -hmm. But he's not happy right oh, now. Oh, oh, definitely not. <laughs> oh, Jim swallow yeah, there. Yeah. Oh. 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 Uh, oh. 
It's just like his own inner demons and stuff. Oh, suppression. Yep, yep. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Wow. Jeez. Oh, the music. Mm -hmm. Oh. God, that was wow. That was tense. Oh, and he tried oh. to help him. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh God. Oh man, my boy. Oh uh -huh. Yeah, he just sees the monster. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, how do they handle this? Soy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. wow. Oh Whoa. boy, that's actually really genius. Whoa, yeah, uh huh. Because that would be the form of cannibalism. Basically. Oh yeah, yeah, uh huh. Oh man. Eggs are, you know, that we just. Eh. I mean, eggs are great, but no, but they're unborn babies of. <laughs> oh sure, yeah. <laughs> like we just yeah. we just skirt around feel that. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh. 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 This is Kai, yeah. Oh, what they'll do to you? でかい図体で俺なら勝てるとでも思ったのよし考えろ。自然に俺が負けられるか。そうだ。僕にある小銭を落として拾う振りをし。やれやれ。物のラッシュじゃないな。努力が必ずしも伴わないなんて。おお。
because yeah. then that means he has a goal right that is concrete and mm -hmm. um well, and acceptance yeah. is good, you know, but it's yes. how do you do that in a situation mm. like this? Is this the play? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> ah, hmm. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. Oh, no, that's Kai. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely mixed him up. <laughs> Uh, yeah. He's an alpaca. Okay. Oh, does his leg actually really hurt? Oh! Oh! Crap! Ow. Wow. Yeah. He just took on the Dang. persona and then... Dang. Okay. All right. Everyone's Damn it. Why do you have to make me root for him? Everyone's complicated. Yep. Nothing is uh -huh. too simple to... Yeah, you can't just take one simple perspective. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 100% Haru is going to be there. <laughs> Probably. Oh, yeah, gardening club. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, her smell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. The Garden of Hell. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is bad. I <laughs> have to go. Does she Excuses. not recognize him, maybe? She might not. Huh? Ah! He used it quicker! He Wait. used it! <laughs> what? Yeah. Wolf boy will explain the rest. Bye! <laughs> wow. Oh no. That makes it that makes it look like he kind of just wanted to be alone with her. That Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. But so far this is good. This is good. Oh. Won't make eye contact. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Where did she touch him? The tail? I think so. But we didn't get to see it. That made it really right. awkward. Oh. Huh. <laughs> That's what she did. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's just like. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> he's, 
<laughs> he's yeah, he's just transfixed here. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, no. No, no, no. No, that's not what he's saying. But maybe this no. is where. Oh my gosh. But by but by saying that that's not it here, maybe that's how he'll get a trust. No, that's oh oh. I I feel so bad for both of them. Like yeah, this is, uh huh. This is that's oh. where the episode ends. Oh. Uh, oh, come on! Uh, 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 oh my god, okay. Oh, well, I mean, we get this ED. <sighs> yeah, and it... Feels really hopeful, actually. Uh huh. Hmm. Part of one hole. Everyone's tails are swaying. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then curtain drops like it's the play. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Dang. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Uh, In well, some ways, this episode hurt more than the first one. Really? Yeah. Oh. Because okay. Gotcha. I feel like I feel like the first episode had all of the the visceral like right. stuff in it. Right. Yeah. But. But in this one, it's when you start to understand it a little. You more. Are, you start to understand it more, yeah. and when and when you understand something like this, that's when it really hurts, right? Because mm -hmm. because in the same way that like, you know, writing off Lewis is just like an Louis. asshole, or yeah. Louis, Louis, that's right, Louis, as just you know, a, a horrible, horrible person. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's not quite the full situation. He right? is a horrible person. Yeah, as far as what he does, right? But yeah. but. He's like, manipulative. Oh, oh, definitely. He's uh, got right. a serious Machiavellian, right? Know, like complex, like. But and yet at the yeah. same time, it, it's something where, it's he's the example of someone who is able to essentially fully depart from his nature of being the prey, right? And he is able to be a predator when he needs to, and he's and he does it in ways that he shouldn't, right? Well, but in ways that are just extremely hurtful yes. to those around him, right? Right. Whether should or shouldn't gets into a whole nother. Sure, area. but there are times where being able to be the predator, essentially, where you know is helpful, right? Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's helping Lagoshi when he was in in trouble in that situation there, sure, and then even things stopping like stopping the cafeteria fight, yeah, stopping the cafeteria fight. And even even though this isn't really a, a predator thing, but um, but more of just the uh, resolute exertion of his will and won't allow things to deviate from it of make, make you know saving um, uh, uh, Zoe, you know when they were when they were about to fall off the stage, right? When they fell. Off well, the that stage. was that was not that was not a predator thing. That was just, right, right. Uh -huh. That was just that was just that a, was just Louis. Right, right. That was Louis. Um, yeah. And and the way that we saw that 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 was something that where he he shifts gears right you know when when he's in the regular thing of oh my god my leg is you know seriously injured to all right you know and yeah. then he does the walk like that yeah and then yeah. and then everything with Haru.
and the Goshi. Yeah. So, oh okay. So I think I now start to understand a lot more with regards to the three mm -hmm. main characters here. Yeah. So, so big, big thing here. Mm -hmm. Lagoshi has absolutely the most clear uh, picture given to us as to what his situation is. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's a wolf. Yeah. Wolves eat rabbits. Uh-huh. And you know what? If he was to do that here, he would be uh yeah probably locked away, never to be seen again. Yep. At best, probably. Otherwise, I don't know what they do really. But yeah. the, the one uh -huh. person whispered it as like a you know what they would do? Uh-huh. And that's right. just a thing of like and that's just from from biting somebody. Well, like, well, yeah, yeah. He was saying, I'll eat you, I'll eat you. Oh, oh yeah, like, that's true. Or that might have actually been Lagoshi's internal thing. We'll get to that in a second. Uh -huh. But basically, Lagoshi's in a situation mm -hmm. where he's overcome with his urges yep. specifically to be a carnivore. Uh huh. Now, what we've seen thus far is that because of the way that carnivores are raised in this society, which primarily says that it is wrong mm -hmm. for you to basically eat any form of meat. meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because that kind straight of forward reason kind of makes sense. Yeah. I still want to zero in a little bit on the fact that they ate, ate eggs. Yeah. Because every every hardcore vegan will tell you that's not vegan. Right. You know? So uh -huh. they're they're yeah. you know I also want to know once uh I want to meet <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at this, but there's the joke in Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh, I'll give me a free ain't fish. <laughs> fish ain't me. Yeah, and yeah. yet none of the people here are fish because right. we're in a land environment. So wouldn't right. that be uh -huh. funny if they end up bringing a thing of like, yep. well, yeah, there's the sea kingdoms, you know, and and you know, I, but we can't live there. So are they yeah. a different cl cl like class right. of citizens or something? I have seen self-proclaimed vegetarians that have no qualms with eating fish because they're like, no, fish, that's not meat. That's something different. <laughs> Right, fish is uh, you know. <laughs> oh my god, as as a person that eats lots of meat, and mm -hmm. that is not something that I like really know too much about with regards to the whole discussion around uh -huh. veganism, vegetarians, kind of style things like that. I I just eat what I eat, yep. but um, I, I find it fascinating that they're using this as a point of conflict that you can basically swing the pendulum around because it, it makes sense naturally mm -hmm. that you know carnivores have the urge yep. to eat meat right. if you were to raise mm -hmm. a carnivore in the real world uh -huh. on a vegan diet they would die. Yeah, like, like th I feel like this is also like a PSA to all the the, the pet owners. I, 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 like, <laughs> I don't think we can go into like any form of intent as to why it's there. Sure, but, <laughs> but, but, um, yeah, yeah, it. But this is here, so yeah, you know. this is his hell. This is what he yep. lives in. Uh -huh. Now, the point is, the point is, is that just because it's in your nature, though, doesn't mean you have right. any right to do it, especially when it harms the free will of another being. Yes, definitely. That is something that has been a very big point of discussion with regards to other things that oh, are yeah. in the nature of people that and doesn't even necessarily brought up make in it this right episode. To do. Yes, like, like absolutely. That, like I, that parallel, like of the idea of that Haru is used to people feeding on her, mm -hmm. right? And Lugoshi is beating himself up because he almost literally fed, fed on, on her. her. Yeah. And now she is offering herself for him to feed yeah. on her. Yeah. Like that's, yeah. And you, what, like, who cares about the exact reason as to why she's doing it? I would say in a lot of ways, it's complicated. Yeah. But the uh -huh. but uh -huh. the the, uh -huh. the 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 big immediate one of just like this is what she's kind of come to expect. I mean, look at it from her perspective. The other guy is like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm out of here. This right. guy, he doesn't seem scared about being mm -hmm. around her alone for some reason. Yep. He also He's asking seems her to questions be, and right, right. But he also seems to be ridiculously awkward and not saying things. So he's sending off all these vibes mm -hmm. specifically of, yeah, th there's this thing about you that's really uh -huh. awkward to me. And I would say, and she's uh -huh. probably seen this 50 times. Right, right. Uh huh. Yeah. She's yep. like, hell, I can get rid of this whole awkward, kind of a little bit uh, scary dynamic between the two of us here. 
yeah, let's just do this. This will be fine. Right. First time with the carnivore. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll yeah. try to enjoy it for you. Right. Like I could, Jeez. I could totally see it being a thing where she's so used to essentially being, um, uh, what, what's the term? Like propositioned. That's not quite the right word. I feel like, but, but we're basically that's someone comes to her seeking sex, right? Mm-hmm. Because, because they know that other people have been able to get it right Mm -hmm. but because it's something where they like they're also kind of looking down on her for that right even though they're also going to her for it Uh, it's something where they don't they're they're not uh comfortable with the asking right you know where it's something where it's like the oh because they see it as oh this is such a you know a bad thing or whatever or something like that right so then she's just like oh okay he's we're in here alone together and he's being really nervous and he's not saying anything that must be what what's on his mind okay you know yeah but yeah (sighs) i i am i am astonished and impressed in some ways at how well the show is maneuvering these characters Mm -hmm. into situations that are bringing up so much of their character so the stuff with louis I think is especially impressive because there were two things introduced in this episode mm-hmm. that are new dynamics. Yes. That I feel like add a little bit of complexity to mm-hmm. uh, Louis's character. One is the idea of the B star. What is it? Yep. Well, it's an icon figurehead of the school right. that has a lot of meaning in terms of the societal mm-hmm. um, uh, ways in this school and maybe even more. Well, we'll see. Mm-hmm. But I, I would say that it is a position of influence power and prestige now someone like louis definitely feels politician like he definitely feels like he's that kind of kind of character Mm -hmm. yep now the very definite thing that we want to bring up here is that he is the example of the character that has the prey biology Mm -hmm. you know with regards to his uh you know his animal uh, species however he acts in terms of personalities in a lot of ways like a predator. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's very manipulative. Yet, we saw him also in this episode do something that yep. put him in harm's way right. in a way that will gain him nothing right. towards uh-huh. that B star's yeah. uh, that B star uh position right. role. Well, what it made me think of is that okay. What's one of the other things that predators do other than feeding on prey? They also mm. have territory. Preys don't really have territory, right? Like they, prey, prey has territory. Well, yeah. you know, like they can, but it's always you know sort of it tends to be defined by where the predators aren't, aren't. right? <laughs> yeah, yes. you know, whereas but they kind whereas, of have a move, a settle, establish, right? And then if it gets really bad, then they move. But they, yeah. everyone has territory. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. in the case of predators, it's something where they actively set their stake of this is my territory, and they will stand up to challenges of that territory against other predators. Against other predators, right? right. I'm sure prey do that against other prey you know right where it's like we're this all is our watering hole right right exactly bug off yeah yeah <laughs> but but in the case of predators yeah. that's something different and i think that's the that's mm. the positive aspect that that louis is striving for mm-hmm. in that he this is this is my school i'm going to be the beast star this is my play i'm not going to let this this play go down you know you're going to take the part and you will be able to do it you will not get injured you know like like right. all those kinds of things yeah i also will do this because this is my territory yeah. i may be injured but i'm still going i'm not going to let anyone see it yeah yeah he is definitely putting up the um extreme pride insecurity combo wombo here so he is not wanting to show any weakness Mm -hmm. because maybe you know people that show weakness get gobbled up sure yeah Uh uh-huh maybe also in some ways it hinges upon him to in order to get the b star position he would need to uh be kind of cutthroat like that so he's got some interesting stuff going on there legoshi however I feel so much for the guy. This anime is doing a fantastic job of showing the inner struggle of mm-hmm. someone who is overcome in the moment yep. with this feeling of urges to do something that he will greatly, he will seriously regret, that mm-hmm. will ruin his life. Yep. Then afterwards, because he ended up still crossing a serious right. line. Yeah, exactly. He didn't... He. He didn't fully say yes, but he also didn't fully say no. So exactly. it's something that's still sitting there. It's a conflict that still needs to be addressed and right. resolved and, and fought on a daily basis. Right. But this is the point that I think is different, though, is that he has been fighting it 
every day of his life. Yep. His inner wolf kind of right. was giving that to him there. Mm -hmm. But this was the point in which he basically made the choice and yet also felt like he lost all choice. So he's in this conflict of where he blames himself for doing this. He hates himself because of he, he sees himself in the mirror. He's like, you're right. a killer, you're a murderer, you're a predator. Mm -hmm. Hates that. Then he reverts so hard into the usual kind of personality that he had, which was diminutive, mm -hmm. shrunk my shrink my shoulders, yep. don't talk, you know, be very non-confrontational, very I can passive. drop change when I pull it out of my pocket as a way to, you know, make it so that, you know, yeah, I yeah. still lose. Right, yeah. right. This is, you know, something that he's putting on. It is mm -hmm. not in his nature. Right. And thus, when he is not doing well, the, the dog that was in the uh, bunk kind of bed uh -huh. area with them was like, this isn't his usual lifelessness. Right, right. Which I love that the dog is the one that sensed that, because they're basically cousins as far as, you know, mm -hmm. evolution goes. But the idea that, like, this wholesome looking dog uh -huh. is just like, oh, you're not your usual yeah. sense of lifelessness dead inside. You you smell a bit more down than usual. Right. What's, what's going on? You're yeah. usually only 97% dead inside, but you look 100% dead inside, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's, I, what's I, I got on? beaten up today, but I didn't wet myself, so my <laughs> self-esteem only dropped 5% today. Like, <laughs> yes. Like, oh, it's, my God. And, and the thing oh, is, the, goshi. the thing is, is that one of the most amazing things that we can do as sentient beings mm. is live in denial of our nature, right? When it's something where it's something that we're that we are truly choosing and taking on ourselves because that's free will right mm -hmm. that's what makes us more than just animals right? right but the thing is is that it needs to be a decision that truly comes from you not yeah. something that comes from the outside from oppression or from suppression oppression or suppression because if that is the case then it can it it it, it will it will kill you like it will. like like so it so will. this is a really good struggle that lagoshi is having here in yep. the conundrum of because like the whole the whole thing that we might be able to tell ourselves of just be yourself, right, and all that stuff. It's like, yeah, no. that's great. But no. he he's a wolf. He kills people. Like you know, like he eats them. No, you know? he well, that's the thing. He hasn't. He has well, right, right. nothing but, of this for, for yes, seven right. years he's lived. But that's if he were to live in full acceptance, how could he do that without doing that, right? Right. Like the whole part yeah. where where he he was holding her i'm so glad that they spent so much additional time on that scene yes like there was a part of me that was wondering if that was just going to be something that happened and then he would let her go and then it would go to the next day but mm -hmm. the fact that they focused on it and he's like this this cloth and this fur is so thin like mm -hmm. how much uh, and, and yeah, yeah you the call, swallow the swallow where like that was so oh genius my god. In the acting oh my be, god like, he's salivating so much he has to swallow otherwise he's gonna start drooling yep yeah, yep yeah, uh-huh okay uh -huh, uh -huh. so uh -huh. within the context of a character being in a position of power in a physical yep. way mm -hmm. one of the things that i have rarely been in the position of is that where you're addressing someone and you start to feel that kind of animal instinct of fight or flight because you can tell that this person is a potential predator mm, where gotcha. they're bigger than you mm -hmm. and if they didn't like you they could have their way with you physically uh -huh. i am pretty tall i am capable of running really far away and i've got probably just enough kind of kind of common sense to avoid certain kind of situations where those would kind of come up. Right. But I haven't lived that long. I haven't been around that many different places and stuff. But I have been in situations where I've been lost, mm -hmm. where I've been in a place where I kind of have a, a feeling that, you know, in the dark, that like, who knows what could happen, basically. Uh -huh. But I've been more of in situations where I've heard accounts from people who have had these kinds of right. things happen to yep. them. Yep. And there's this, there's this, because um, this is, I'm, I'm kind of wanting to shift things a little bit mm -hmm. to the parallels I'm almost wanting to bring up between Haru and Lagoshi. Okay. Is that because of a multi, multiple number of factors, mm -hmm. people that have been in these horrific situations where people have abused them have dominated them with their power mm -hmm. their physicality or what have you mm -hmm. the list of types of things oh, yeah. is is it, pretty uh -huh. disgusting and uh, yeah um <laughs> and this is youtube so you know <laughs> keeping it, right right keeping it uh yeah um but there's a feeling that can accompany afterwards of extreme 
I'm not even kidding, guilt. Like actual like guilt. And it is so messed up that that is the thing that is one of the, like the one of the main things that they can end up feeling after this. On which side? On the side of the person that got abused. Oh, oh yeah, uh-huh, definitely. So mm-hmm. the fact that Haru mm-hmm. calls all of that a bad dream. And yeah. Lagoshi uh-huh. was literally living this nightmare over mm-hmm. and over again yep, in this yep. day. Yep. And yep. she just kind of forgot about it. Her situation might be far Ooh. worse than his because mm-hmm. she's in such a situation where the trauma of that might have literally been something that her brain selectively was like, nope, let's that, let's not. Let's just skip over that. Yep. Uh-huh. That that did not happen. You were so mm-hmm. terrified. Your brain is trying to keep you yep. surviving and moving oh, yeah. on here. It's, and that did not that did not Especially happen. because it's something that so wouldn't make sense if you're thinking about it. Because mm-hmm. I'm oh oh my god, I'm about to be eaten. I'm not being eaten. I'm being held here. Mm-hmm. This is terrifying. Like the the immense terror of knowing that she could be eaten at any moment, and yet she's not actively being eaten in that moment. Because then at least you can know it's going to be over soon, right? right? But but she doesn't even have that. So then, yeah, it's just nope. That must have been that must have been some some freaky dream. And dude, she wanted to be there. Yeah, that's that's yeah. uh huh. That that uh-huh. whole thing. Yeah. Well, no, not whether or not she wanted to be in that physical location, but once the whole thing mm-hmm. happened and went down. Right. Like, yeah, it, it, it was, it was all sorts of complicated. Yeah. And so, so, mm-hmm. oh yeah. Yeah. But within the bit of what happened at the end, the end of the episode here, mm-hmm. he's going on a very innocent, uh, yep. little routine pickup, little side quest here mm-hmm. and ends up in a situation with her alone Mm-hmm. And then he starts to get really nervous because he's like, I can, she I doesn't can smell know, her. Like, she's what's... there. She doesn't know. I'm feeling and, guilty. And, and yet and she's I treating her about this stuff. There? And she's treating me normally. She's treating she's you treating normally. She's treating me like a normal person even mm-hmm. after what I did. What is this? This feels really nice. Yeah. It oh. doesn't comfort him or torment him. Right, right. He just feels uh-huh. normal. Wait, she's asking me what my favorite food is. Oh, God. Um, What do I say? What do I say? Why are her clothes off? Right? Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. And in some ways, in some ways, I feel like this is, uh, hmm, how do I say this? I feel like this situation, this Mm -hmm. situation that he's going to find himself in here is so much one that he probably has not prepared for in the slightest. Oh, sure. Just as Mm -hmm. much as he probably hasn't mentally prepared himself for the idea that his body would deny his will for a split second or he would surrender mm-hmm. his will oh, to yeah. his nature mm-hmm. and do that to uh Haru the mm-hmm. other night. Yep. Um Oh yeah. I am really really <laughs> excited that this is probably going to end up going in a sexual way, but it is probably going to be important for kind of forcing them to like to like kind of snap out of things uh-huh. for a little bit and then maybe grow a little bit but well well at the very up, least they might end up together uh-huh yeah. well well it's something it's something where because i don't think in this situation that lugoshi trusts himself where he would actually uh be with her here because i agree because he'd be like i i, I might just end up like eating her you know well like sure. or, or something but again you know. body will urges oh nature. yeah oh yeah definitely I... definitely and right so so if it does end up going that way then that whole conversation afterwards can and and the way that that arc if will go a conversation if there's a conversation yeah. right right but that 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 is that is a way that it can go but if if they if they don't mm-hmm. then that can be a whole new conversation because then maybe she will feel comfortable enough around him to start opening up a little bit and then mm-hmm. maybe as a result of that mm-hmm. he'll be able yeah. to open up a little bit to her because yeah. because right here there's there's the there's the lifetime of repression that Lugoshi has to deal with yeah. but there's also the immediate guilt that he has over the fact that he started he he hurt her right, right? and yeah. and he's still thinking about that he's been beating himself right. up about it right so Okay. So, Sorry, and and if going. he doesn't if he doesn't deal with that, I don't think he he'll deal with it on his own, right? Uh, and, no, definitely not. I I agree. And there and there needs to be some point where he she either remembers or he tells her, you know, so like yeah. That that's that's what happened. Yeah. Right? And then and then they can go from there maybe. Right. 
But that's, I'd say, the biggest problem with this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Is regardless of whether or not they have sex or not, uh -huh. the main thing of Lagoshi approaching any kind of connection point with her mm -hmm. in a way where he sees himself so low. Like, what's his self-esteem at right now? Negative. Exactly. Yeah. Do you think her self-esteem is negative or do you think it's just low? I would say it's right about zero. Okay. What do you think is the benefit of having two people with extremely low self-esteem enter into any kind of a physical relationship? The Well, the benefit is that they won't... Um, Be alone? Yeah. Misery you know, loves company? Right, right. Sharing a cup called loneliness because it's better than drinking alone. That is a okay. possibility. Okay. It's okay. also something where maybe they won't, um, they won't hurt each other even more in that sense. Sure, sure. Right? I'm with you. But who do you think... Of these two is the stronger one. I think it's pretty obvious. I think it's Haru. Oh, Haru has been bullied a mm -hmm. lot. Yeah. And we've seen her stand up to them. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, uh -huh. if anything, Lagoshi, I'm really worried for because I feel like both of them are going to end up getting hurt if things mm -hmm. go this way. Yeah. But mm -hmm. not only that, Lagoshi has a lot of specific burdens within this mm -hmm. context here that I really would rather, if anything, if they get into any kind of relationship, which I would love the idea of uh -huh. you know, the wolf and the rabbit, the, the natural yep, yep, prey uh -huh. and the predator, finding some way to yep. coexist, you know, coexist yeah. and mm -hmm. connect and find, right. you know, And that is the harmony ultimate and stuff picture like that. of coexistence. Yeah. Right, it's beautiful. Uh -huh. Yep. But I would say it's probably going to get really messy before it gets to any level of, uh, right. of uh, yeah. beauty or harmony. And the question is, is what kind of messy is it going to be? And right. and, you, and then yet at the same time, that's what makes it valuable when you get to that beauty True. or harmony, right? Like, True. I feel like this show is doing just this wonderful job of exploring basically, like, power dynamics in everyday life, kind of, and, and the ways that in relationships and things like that, that, that all the different, like, emotional baggage and traumas mm. and things like that, that, that come out in just how we act, right? Mm -hmm. How those interact with each other for good or bad or neutral, right? And that, yeah. and that it's, it's complicated, right? And, and vulnerability is tricky to do yep. in that situation oh, yeah. because you're giving oh, yeah. someone potentially more power over you. Right. And yes. they, they yes. could abuse that. Ooh, ooh. And maybe that's how Lugoshi can actually reconcile his nature is that if he is vulnerable about the fact that he has this other nature that he's that struggling he's, that he's struggling well, no, it's not another nature that is just well, his right, nature right right right, right. but <laughs> yeah, yeah. but that basically because because you know there's there's the acceptance where you say all right that's you know i, I won't repress myself anymore kind of a thing uh -huh. right which could uh, would cause certain complications um <laughs> yes <laughs> but then there's the idea of accepting the fact that this is something you're struggling with mm -hmm. so that that way you're yeah. not wishing you weren't struggling with it where you right. you basically bear your burden and that's what i think louis does really well as much as as much as his personality, but he's not vulnerable at all. Oh, oh, w w right, right. Because that's right. Vulnerability is not his. Is not his. Um, it's not his thing. Right? Of course not. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. But but like but like in the, that's that's not his way out of it. I feel like with in his case, really? it was something where he was probably fed up with being vulnerable, and yeah. that's why he had to take on. He yeah. had to become the predator. He had to become the strong one because otherwise, he was just going to be a scared little little deer, deer. for, for yeah. the rest of his life, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why in the I play, it's important that the hero be be the 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 herbivore, right? right? You know, and that they stand up to the carnivores, right? That they that they are mm. courageous and do all these things, right? Right. Yeah. And then Pro projecting much and idealizing sure. his own struggles right. in this way as right. if he's the hero and he's perfect oh, oh, and he oh, yeah. can do no wrong. And that's where he mm. can grow because then it's if not about grows, it's yeah. not about changing utterly. It's about yeah. temperance within the within the villainous virtue that he has taken on, right? Sure. You know, okay. he's take he's applying it in a bad way, but he has gotten to this point. Yeah. You know, yeah. like yeah, be the B star. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Just, you know, don't go grabbing people by their tails and, you know, roughing people around. Like Right. Yeah. Yeah. And the only way he's going to be able to do that, though, is if he's vulnerable. Right. I don't think he's going to be able to get the B-star. Um, 
roll a little bit unless he's willing to actually oh. uh, be vulnerable about the struggles he has with his nature. And, and that's, that's where Lagoshi comes in. That's where Lagoshi comes yeah, in. Yeah, because, yeah, because Lagoshi exactly. is the strong one that, that has a problem with being vulnerable but isn't actively being strong about physically it. Physically strong, right? Right, physically yeah, strong. Yeah. Physically mm -hmm. strong. Right. And because they're such polar opposites, mm -hmm. they'll rub on each other in some very specific ways uh, that, that Louis, yeah. in a lot of ways, won't like. Like, he's trying to wake up that, that side of him. He's like, you're actually a pretty dangerous wolf after all, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You know, because, because he's seeing... I, I don't like to see this in, in it, right? That's why That's uh, why when he okay. talks to the goat, he yeah. was saying, you probably ate it, right? Because he's basically, yeah. he's seeing weakness and he's like, why don't you, why don't you stop that, right? It's the same self-hatred that he probably had towards himself yeah. that drove him to overcome it. And he's seeing them not overcoming it. And he's like, why can't you? I did it, you know? What, what's the big deal? <laughs> I did it. Right, right, right. Hmm. He, but he went a bit too far, you know? Like, <laughs> just a bit. Just, 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 just a bit. Just, just a bit. <laughs> just a, just, just a bit. Wee but this is one of the things that I love about why uh, about how they're handling Louis because it's not a recontextualization in the sense that now he's not actually a bad guy. No, it's something where he has different demons to face. You know, mm -hmm. because because I feel like right. it's it. You know, the whole thing of there being multiple perspectives and that it's never so simple an answer mm -hmm. really is what this show is about. Right? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I loved the little bit of world building, by the way. Just the idea, I know we talked about this in the beginning mm -hmm. of the discussion, but just the idea that they have prepared meals in this certain mm -hmm. way. Because, guys, that means farming is still a thing. Yeah. Guys, like, uh -huh. there are so many things about this world that if they take them really seriously, they can go into some really still dark things that would have to kind of be okay with a little bit hey milk maybe. could be paid labor you know like the cows are like all right i believe you I, no no you, you get 12 bucks an hour plus an extra right. two bucks per quart you know right. like, like but but uh -huh. you could get more pay if you take these uh specific things that are going to make you even more productive sure. yeah 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 uh -huh. yeah and, like, and the I'm whole talking... chicken issue is is interesting yeah mm -hmm. yeah 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 i i I, I I don't think it's irrelevant. I don't think it's relevant necessarily what animal mm -hmm. those eggs come from. But but eggs, eggs are the yeah. unborn mm -hmm. like yeah like yeah yeah like uh -huh. I I almost I almost would love to see them bring it up as actually a thing of where like well like you know <laughs> yeah I know I know yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. let's like, let's not actually let's not say actually that go but, there but, but yes but, I, but mm -hmm. that could be really cool I would love to see them go into that. Then the other thing I think that's rather interesting within the world side of things mm. that's rather cool here, that because this is a school, because this is a school, it is a microcosm of society, you know? Mm -hmm. So we get to do that. But the idea that we live in a society, and in this one here, there is very clearly an attitude of when there's a problem in the cafeteria and they don't, start to scuffle look it, at it, just... You know, yeah. uh, I'm such a suppressed and repressed yep. individual, uh -huh. and then multiply that on a grander scale, that it isn't really until Louis shows up. Sure. Mm -hmm. So think about this, if you will, and just forget everything we know about Louis. Mm -hmm. Forget everything. Right. Imagine this is where he just where he shows up, right? And Lagoshi, wow, Lagoshi, you've you got some it. guts. Mm -hmm. You stood up there and did something that technically might be a little bit against the rules i don't know because they were making a thing about bearing fangs and stuff in the first episode oh. so when he does that his fangs probably were shown there now i don't know if they were totally bared uh -huh. right but when he did that he more just redirected the conflict towards him yes it uh -huh. was louis however who recontextualized the entire conflict to then what was fascinating was that the two that were fighting ended up joining yes. together uh-huh yeah. And he's like, hey, come on, let's get out of here. Basically, right. this thing of like, yeah, our conflict is an issue, but there's so much now potential oppression that could be focused on us because we're at the center of attention here. Mm -hmm. I don't want you or I to be subject to this. Right. So let's quickly get out of here so we can just kind of forget this happen and move on. Mm -hmm. That is really fascinating because then it makes Lagoshi like this lawful enforcer. He's neither good nor evil. He's neither, right. you know, bad or good. There's nothing necessarily mm -hmm. that we know about him other than he is very well respected. 
And when he says something, people listen. And the masses all then turned and changed the story and went from being, oh, I don't do anything to, yeah, 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 exactly. Uh huh. And, and it, is, it was really kind of right. freaky to look at, well, if, and, if you will. And and because because it's not something where he, like, socially, he's not really respected. You know, he's he's kind of a, you know, a nobody probably. People probably forget wait, him. Who's he? Lugoshi. Oh, I was talking about Louis. Oh, okay. You were saying Lagoshi. I was like, wait, what? Was I, I was saying like, Lagoshi? I think so. Yeah. Louis. Oh, okay. I'm talking about Louis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. Right. Um, yeah. I really did like, though, that moment of Lagoshi actually speaking up. Right? Okay. Where, where he finally is like, cut it out. Right? Because it's something where, where, and it's not that like he's, you know, embracing his nature in that moment necessarily or whatever. Right? Mm -hmm. But it's something where he is utilizing the fact that he is a wolf right mm. like to to make a point and 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 conflict right sure and he did that in the first episode right. in, a, in a much more um direct way right because you know he actually you know growled and things like that whereas mm. here he just yelled when you know he wasn't a part of the conflict right right but that was something where he was taking uh -huh. on the burdens of someone else as if they were his own which is very similar to what louis did with the fall and then it's also very similar to um well or wait no, yeah, with, with what Louis did with the fall. Hmm. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. But yeah, we've got a lot more here, and this this show really just delved in deep on the three oh main boy. characters here. If anything, I still feel like we have a little bit more to get into with Haru. However, mm -hmm. Haru... I think that's going to happen next episode. Haru is being quite vulnerable in what's or coming up not. here. Well, well, well like, yeah, we, we, we didn't like, even really get into too much about the, the thing of, where this is common for her. Uh -huh, so she yeah. might not be very vulnerable and, at all. And maybe a way to protect herself specifically because one of the things that I thought was interesting about that uh -huh. is that she immediately went to sex, but when she talked about it before, she talked about people having the urge to protect her and then when they see that she's not, you know, how they thought, then they mess around and then they leave, right? But that makes it oh. seem like it was something where there was an actual attempt at a relationship before, and then they end up leaving after the after having sex and all that oh. stuff, and basically getting what they wanted. So she's kind of lying in the first well, episode. Well, well, I don't, I don't necessarily think that. I think it's that by doing this, this is a way of her insulating herself by saying, "This is where it's going to end. Let's skip to this now, so that I don't <laughs> have to get my hopes up that you actually care about me." Oh. You know, I mean, that would be like, that would be some deep dive analysis like, right there. I think I think you've got potential there as the idea of it being a shield more than a mm -hmm. vulnerability. Right, so, like like the sure. people that try and be overly vulnerable as a way to say like I'm not being vulnerable, kind mm -hmm. of. You know, um, yeah. Well, they just basically show the things they're willing to show. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. They and they display like, them so proudly that it's like a flak shield or whatever, so you can't mm -hmm. see what's underneath. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're onto something there. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general. And you can also talk with Jacob about the sci-fi novel that he wrote. Yep. I mean, you know it. You love it. Battle Lines. Sci-fi novel. I wrote it. It's awesome. It's on Amazon. Link in the description. Go check it out. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.